Who's right? Who's wrong? You decide. Hash it out. Brought to you by Remen Wholesale. Hi, I'm Carl Markman with Remen Wholesale. We're incredibly proud of our history of educating and partnering with the broker and banker community to prepare you for what's next. We've always been committed to same-day turn times on initial underwrites, which allows us to earn your business each and every day. We're happy to sponsor the following program. Hello and welcome to another episode of Hash It Out. I am Frank Gray here with my cohort in crime, Brian Stevens. Brian, we had a guy on the National Real Estate Post the other week who's using our product, Listing Booster, to get leads. Something kind of shocked me about this, okay? And this is what I want to share with these guys. He's doing great, okay? In our product, he's got 40 real estate agents, he has 318 listings, and in 10 months, he's gathered 1,911 leads off of these listings by using the Craigslist feature. Here's the thing, here's the thing that bothered me. Well, here's what he does. He doesn't call any of the leads. He just tells the agent to call him. He doesn't care what happens because he feels like they're just gonna give me their other business anyway, which they are. He's doing quite well. I mean, he's getting a lot of business because he's providing this lead value. But I told him, you remember, I said, I think you're kind of blowing it. There's 1,900 leads you haven't touched. You know what I mean? Why haven't you done that? I just, what are your thoughts on those 1,900 leads? Okay, first of all, I, I, wanna, I wanna make this very clear. These are 1,900 actual leads. Right. So what they are is they are people using their telephones to gather information on these properties. Correct. And it's taking that telephone number and it's sending it over to the listing booster account. Right. So these are actual leads of people showing Correct. interest in properties. Mm -hmm. Now for a loan officer to sit there and call 1,900 leads, and let's just assume almost all of them are bad. Let's it's, just assume that, He's okay? averaging 190 a month. Okay. So he's getting 190 leads in a month. So it becomes very impractical for a loan officer to call those people because you okay. need to be running down uh, you know, getting your loan docs, getting sure. your stuff closed, speaking with your affinity partners and your realtors out there. Okay. Um, now, so what you have to do is it's a real reallocation of your time and resources. Okay. So now, if I have 10 leads with this one real estate agent and I'm a loan officer, would I be better off calling that one real estate agent and saying, hey, call these 10 people who are interested in your property rather than calling those 10 people directly? So rather than making 10 calls, I'm only making one call to that real estate agent. Right. And in the process of doing that, I'm also asking her for the business. I'm reaffirming with her how hard I'm working for. So I'm accomplishing more than just having her uh, make the calls on these leads for me. Okay. So if I'm making fewer phone calls to real estate agents and reallocating that time, so they're calling the consumers, or, or excuse me, calling leads, then it's a better use of my time. Okay. That's the direction I would take. Okay, see, what I would do, Okay. okay, what I would do with this is knowing that I'm averaging 200 a month, okay. okay, and the way that I'm getting them is through the Craigslist functionality, which is requires daily effort, right? Daily effort to refresh the listings or whatever on Craigslist. It requires it's a strategy. Sort of, it, okay, what I would do, okay, is I would either pay somebody minimum wage or maybe pay them uh, per 